What's up, guys? It's Raph in the Raph Cave. Welcome back to another LGGX OLED video. This here is going to be on a new feature coming out for the Xbox One X or Xbox One S. Maybe the first generation, maybe not. This is the new HDR calibration. Now, I joined the Xbox Insider Hub, which allows me to get firmware updates before public release, specifically to use for the uh, xCloud and uh, my new Kishi uh, portable gaming device. You can check out the link right there. All right, guys, so what you do basically is this. Once you have the new firmware update, the beta firmware update, you go into your settings. You go to TV and display options. And look what we have here, guys. Calibrate HDR for games. Let's get it. Now, you know I calibrated my own TV with the Calman LG software. HDR right here, by the way. Boom, boom, boom. I calibrated HDR game mode. It's fantastic. It makes a huge difference. Now, HDR game calibration. This app shows a series of test patterns to determine the characteristics of your HDR TV. Calibration values are stored in the system and games you choose to use this information to enhance their visual quality in your HDR TV, which means HGIG is going to be very important in the future. Set your TV in the game mode, which you have done. Set your room lighting to match your normal gameplay environment, which close to it. Disable your picture settings sharpness settings. Sharpness can cause one of all lines. Of course it does. Of course it adds unwanted information around the edges of objects. We're talking video games here. I'm going to add a little bit of sharpness. I actually go to five. I go five. Uh, TV setup. Now, I have not done this, guys. This is a first time for you. TV setup. I'm not sure what this does. I'm going to click. What does it give us? Recommended settings. Uh, visual changes. Okay. Great. HDR. SDR and HDR are different. Of course, they're different. We want HDR, of course. Energy saving. Make sure you turn off your TV's energy saving mode because that will dim the peak brightness, which we don't want. Uh, make sure the OLED light and peak luminance, which is contrast, is full blast 100, which we have done. Local dimming. That we definitely want to turn off, which should be disabled when you're in game mode anyway. Not disabled, you know what I mean. We want it on, but you don't want all the other extra stuff going on, which can hinder our HDR gaming performance. SDR brightness, uh, we're not worried about SDR because we're going HDR. Uh, color, it's up to you guys. I normally recommend warm one. And of course, sharpness settings, I like five. Turn off your edge enhancements or anything else like that going on in your TV. All right. Okay, that was a little information. Not bad. All right, let's go next. This is a screen that determines the darkest visual details around your TV. Use the Xbox controller to adjust the image until you barely make out the checkered pattern. Okay. You guys probably can't. I'll turn it up really. See, that's a checkered pattern. What you want to do is dim it right before you can't see it. Or a little above where you can't see it. So that looks pretty good right there. Max luminance. Now we do not want to see the checkered board. I'll bring it down darker. See, we don't want to see that. We want to go up until we can't see it. For me, it would be right there. Completely disappeared. Cool. The screen. So we don't want to see the checkerboard. We don't want to see this. So we raise it until it disappears. And it's gone. And thank you for finishing. That's it, guys. Just as quick as the, uh, the PlayStation 4 version of the HDR game settings are. So, uh, yeah, what we want, as you see on the, uh, now you can't see this, it's blown out. 
um, but you, you don't want to see over blooming, right? And that's why I like HGIG so much, which of course is going to be on. I dang well better be on. Advanced controls, HGIG is on. HGIG is on for Xbox. You know what? I don't remember seeing HGIG option for Xbox One. It's always been great for uh, PlayStation, but now I can see it for Xbox. So that is fan freaking tastic. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this video. This is something you guys can look forward to when you get your new Xbox update for public release, or if you want to go ahead and get the Insider Hub going and get the beta firmware, you can do it sooner. But I am very pleased that this is going to be available for Xbox users. It's about damn time. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See ya.